Hey folks, Quilly Dean here and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Crusader Kings 2, the succession game as the Wendish Empire. And when we last left things off, I believe we just won a pretty significant holy war on the defensive and it's just me or these guys all shattered now actually. Um, hmm. Probably not. We probably still have a truce, right? No. Okay, yeah, it, some, something looks different here. Uh, it's been a couple of days since I played the last part, so I'm not 100% sure, but I believe that whoever was fighting before has uh, perhaps fallen to pieces, or maybe someone died and some of the, uh, the nations changed, I'm not sure, but it means we can actually declare war over here. And yeah, some people might join the Holy War, but it might be okay. What's the military status like? We've not actually recovered our troops that effectively. However... If I uh, go back up here, let's check the realm tree. How many troops could he pull in? 79,000, which is not that much. Now, other nearby rulers might join in, of course, which is part of the problem. Maybe we should just go after, um, well, no, maybe over here, because they are in a different religion group, and their holy war won't be particularly helpful. Really? One province? That's it? That's really annoying. Uh, I think I will declare the Holy War, though, just because it's um, it gets me all the holding. It does cost me some piety, but I got lots of piety. Who cares about that, right? Um, here's another question. Okay, conversions are good. Where are my actual retinues over here? Let's join these together. And you are moving over there, which is great and fine. And where's the other group? Way over here and heading back. Which I think is okay. I don't remember if I had another target planned at the end of the last episode or not. Still don't like the fact that these little kind of warts exist in the middle of the rest of our realm. Um, yeah, we do have a truce with them, so we can't do that. Um, I think I'm going to go over here to the east. There's a few little independent things we can go and pick up as well. So yeah, let's, let's go and do that. Just got to hike everyone over. I could load them on a boat. Do I have any boats here? Um, that's going to be an insufficient number. Now, as I recall, one of these had lots and lots of boats. Maybe this one? There it is. There's all the boats. Uh, lower this. Lower this. And, oh, we can lower these boats as well. We'll just use the one set. You come over here, you can wait there. And it'll be a lot faster to ferry you over into this end of the world. I don't know if there's any canals. There's there, but I don't think there is one over here. I suppose we could sw sail around Scandinavia and then we'd be okay. Um, ooh, some of the votes for the... are changing up. Really? Hmm. Doesn't like the Crown Authority. Raised levy, the taxes, high Crown Authority. Well, the increased Crown Authority is a big part of the problem. Uh, we could give one of our duchies away, and actually I think that would be a splendid idea. Um, let me go and find... Okay, which duchies do I hold that are too many? Thrace, I want to keep. Thick Nikea, I want to keep. So that leaves us with Finland. Duchy of Finland, which we don't care about. Which we don't even have... That would actually cost us prestige. So this is the du jour Finland duchy. We don't have the, anyone under us there, which is kind of wonky. Um, but this guy here, who's just a chief, he's only got the one holding. He actually doesn't like me very much. I'm hoping to find someone who likes me okay over here. Wow. What about way up here? Nope. All right, well, let's just start with this guy over here. He was only a minus seven, so that's fine. We are going to give him the duchy of Finland. It will make him like us a little bit more. And I think that's going to be okay. And it'll net us a plus 10 relationship with everyone. Whoa, he really likes me all of a sudden. Plus 60 from the duchy. Maybe maybe it's the elective monarchy hadn't kicked in yet. Oh, and we get a lot of pluses for the liege. I don't know, there might be some sort of funny relationship thing going on. Okay, well, that worked out very, very nicely. So that broke off a few things. We can create some kingdoms, duchies and things, but I don't think... I particularly care about it. Uh, technically it would give us some du jour claims, but we don't really need that at all. We can use her a title over here, but again, I don't think we need to do that. So I'm okay with not doing it. All right. Meanwhile, child lacks a guardian. This is my son. Did he just come of age? 
Yeah, he just came of age. Okay, we are going to educate him ourselves. We have excellent stats, personally. So, and then we can make decisions for him. I mean, assuming this guy doesn't die from a disease early on, he, he's got so much freaking potential. Holy cow. I'm actually surprised we haven't popped out another kid yet. We're trying for a daughter, which should give us a fertility boost. We have a couple of things that boost our fertility. I mean, unless she's just avoiding me because I'm possessed. I'm, I'm surprised that being possessed hasn't done anything to our game yet. Uh, I'm actually quite stunned at that. Um, let's raise our fleets over here. Good, that's a sufficient number. Embark. Good. And we're just going to shortcut you to over here. At least save a little bit of time. Speaking of which, we've got to embark you. And we're going to see if we can drop you off right over here. Excellent. Probably bring the speed up a little bit. I can check to see if there's any valid buildings here. I think that we're mostly limited by tech in these places. Um, yes. Oh, and I don't want to actually... I don't care about upgrading those. So we'll save our money. We're going to have tons of money. But, you know, it doesn't hurt. At some point, we're going to die, and our son is going to take over, and we're going to want to make sure that he's got a lot of money around for uh, mercenaries and whatnot to be able to combat... Where's my? Where's that boat? I guess it's taking a long way around, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Um, to combat any sort of uprisings that might trigger. I'm going to park you over here. And what we'll do is we'll trigger a couple wars at once. Actually, I mean, if we can only if we can do it entirely with our retinues, we won't need more. But I think there's going to be all the defensive bonuses and attrition over here. So we'll raise a few more troops here and there. Just mostly on this side of the world, just to make life a little bit easier. Um, Kaelvin, tender and loving soul, trusting everyone in the castle, fear it will get hurt one day. Kind is actually a wash, actually. It's totally even. Uh, although it does give an extra plus one diplomacy as well. Although so does this. I will give him this. At least Kind will probably give him some relatively good uh, relationship boosts as well um, for with other kind people. I mean, I guess it won't help with people who are cruel, but that's okay. Okay, we're going to drop that. We can go ahead and declare war against this guy. Um, it doesn't have to be a holy war. How much does he like me? A hundred already. We could press a claim for him. And I don't actually want the holding myself. Um, it will keep whatever chief is there present. Ba -ba -bum. Get the moral authority, which is fine. Like, oh, we're Quill the Monk? Really? And the thing is, I'm at my holding maximum, so I'll just go do the uh, the Jewer claim here and just pile on a few more bonuses with that guy. Because why not? We should be able to rush the siege as well, I suspect. Someone inherited a county, which is fine. Some Vasilevi still raised too long. Okay, yep. Yeah. Please stop trying to murder each other. I would appreciate that. Thank you very much. Are these guys... Are they rebelling? How are they all independent? I hadn't realized that, that these guys are all totally independent. This is going to be incredibly easy to beat our way through. Okay, nice that we caught those guys. That's going to help considerably. We got 75% war score just from that. Well, I mean, he's got no army anymore, so what is he going to do, right? Um, so, it's... Frankly, he might be willing to accept the peace now, uh, except for the fact that it's just too early. They always want a little bit more time. Go ahead and rush that. Or if we can get to 100%, that would be fine, too. Victoria Siege, 100% war score. Enforce demands. Boom. Well, isn't that pretty? So if we look here, it's still this guy. His liege is over here. And, I mean, the amount of pluses we have are just sick. Sick, sick, sick. All right, let's start declaring war on these folks. Because we can. Um, yeah, I think... Conquest is going to work out just fine for us here. More spying going on. What are the factions like right now? Mmm, totally manageable. Wow, so many plots. And you're slowly moving forward there, alright. Yeah, we can probably do this without raising anyone, and it's going to be very, very convenient to do it that way, because that way we can just keep declaring war again and again. Um, like here, declare war. Conquest. 
yeah, since we don't need to use the Holy War, this will work out much nicer because it doesn't cost us piety. Holy Wars are nice because you can get entire duchies at a time. Um, it's a 100% war score there. I'm going to keep doing like quick pauses and release. Boom, boom, boom. Create a new vassal over here, and we'll have to give something away briefly. Next. Oh my god, the Norse are stupid. Or not the Norse, the pagans are stupid in terms of how easy it is to expand at them. It's not even right. Whoa, these guys could actually afford some mercenaries. Of course, they have um, no morale whatsoever. And they just also just don't have enough. So that's okay. Now, they will get some pretty decent modifiers. Oh, well, just the river crossing. Off to the dungeon, off to the dungeon, off to the dungeon. Right, we'll have to release a whole bunch of people afterwards. We've got 100% war score here already. Enforce demands. It's so ludicrous. So I like these games early on when things are, are hard and sketchy, but this is just... It's just a little stupid. Don't you think? I don't know. 75% war score already. We haven't even, like, annihilated the whole army, but we did destroy it. And mostly we just need to siege once and we're going to be okay. Because it's their only direct holding. Um, wrong type over here. Create a new vassal. Um, let him rot for now. We'll revisit you later. Go ahead and rush that. Victory, 100%. Oh, this is just... I mean, maybe I'm overextending in some fashion. But I don't think so. You over here, you are also independent. Conquest. Um, create vassals, create vassals, let her rot. Off to the dungeon. 100% war score. <laughs> it's ludicrous! Uh, click here, create new vassals. And we still have to give the count. Whoops, that is not what I meant to do. We still have to give the counties away. We'll get that in a second. Conquest, go. And you're already going there. And this is just wasteland. We, there's actually nothing over here. I mean, the Holy Wars are going to be more of the challenge, but we're doing all right. Um, let's go ahead and give out a few titles. So we want um, not a ruler. We want men. We want everything sorted by relationship. Um, again, we would like high stewardship, just because that increases their chance of um, converting cultures and religions and such. So, I mean, this is not the highest of the highs, but I also want a high relationship. Well, I guess, okay, hold on. Let's sort by stewardship. Find people who are relatively high, because they're going to be even better off once we get things converted. Uh, are we Pomeranian? I think we are. Pomeranian Slavic, so that'll help. I guess I, that's one of the things I could do. I could say, force my religion, sort by stewardship. So we'll try to get as many Pomeranian Slavics involved, grant landed titles. Give that away. Boom. Next is this guy. Oh, shoot, ambitious. Oh, son of a bitch. We'll use this guy then, because he's not ambitious. That was a bit of a mistake. What is that? Cool symbol. Um, grant landed title. We'll give away a perm. Um, this guy over here. Okay, and then we'll come back. We've got to do a few more. Just wanted to get my limit just trimmed a little bit. Obviously, it's still slightly above, but that's okay. And then, yeah, we'll have to decide on what our actual Holy War is going to be. Queen Sigrid the Chaste of Sweden expiring in just a few days. Really? I would like some Sweden. What? Oh, Baird's Host. He's actually got three counties. That's really impressive. Um, yes, okay. Prince Calvin is now number one in the line of succession, which is exactly what I'm looking for. Won the battle, getting some attrition. That's fine. Let's trim that as well. These Arctic holdings off to the dungeon. Calvin is too cynical for his age. He's clear sighted. We can give him cynical, which gives him a big boost to intrigue. Hurts his piety, but who cares? Um, and personally, I think I'm in favor of, uh, of having him being a cynic. 
off to the dungeons. I think being a cynic hurts your relationship with people who are zealots. That's okay. Still a net gain in terms of actual stats, and that's what we're going to focus on. We're going to try to leave Kaelvin with a ruler with stupendous through the roof stats. Use up some more titles. Give away that holding to a new vassal. And then just quickly finish that siege. Good. Um, oh! Norland. That's some pretty fast flipping of stuff over here. Um, yeah, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to pull, pull my people over here and... Oh, I can't remember how to say the name of this place. Uh, Sealand? It might just be Sealand. I'm not sure. No, that's Skoen. And that's about as much as I can do. Scandinavian languages are weird. Get our 100% war score. Good. Get another autosave. We're autosaving, what, every six months, I think? I hope I still have it set that. I don't want it to be every month. Let me double check. Yeah. That's going to be fine. We'll offer peace over here. Enforce that. Actually, I suppose I could just give all the stuff away to someone. That, actually, that makes a lot of sense. Let's, that is not the key I want. Forget that F is not a hotkey for that. Search realm. We're still sorted by stewardship. Yes, skip the people who are ambitious. So, Lek over here. Lek or Leech. Pomeranian Slavic. So let's grant him a landed title. Move this out of the way. You there. We'll include the lower titles. Some of them will be the wrong holding, but you can give them away. And just generally makes him extremely happy. Um, we'll use Jindrik over here. He seems fine. He's even content. No, that's Gregarious. My bad. We will grant him a landed title. The county here with the lower titles. And one more. Julius. He's a prince of Poland. He's got no titles, though. Um, he might be a little sketchy to do. Let's use a courtier. Might be better. That's content. There we go. That's the kind of guy we want. Grant landed title of... Um, yeah, we'll do Coney over here. Boom. That brings us back to 10, which is exactly where we want to be. So that was a pretty good expansion right there. Um, I can't remember Glinch. I just checked. We have a truce, right? Yeah. What else do we have? I, I think I want to go north. I think that's fine. I mean, we could do simultaneous wars, but we still have, you know, some threats, perhaps, of some factions forming, so we'll try to take it a little easy. Um, I'm going to move... I'm going to move these guys over here, so we'll have them in position to start the war. I suppose we could use a bunch of ships, too, to do some landings. Oh, let's uh, release our prisoners. Which, again, i tempted to sort of do off-screen, but I guess we'll burn through. I'm just going to check to see if there's a ransom. There is. Back to Intrigue. Anastasia. Ransom. No, so just release because I don't care. I guess I can have the game actually going with this. More conversions, which is great. Um, oh, another offer, really. I guess you're right. I probably had more than one person from this person. Ransom some stuff off. I don't even need the money, frankly. I could just release a bunch of people en masse. <laughs> there we go. I mean, yeah, that's the thing. These are mostly just war prizes. Is there... What is this? Auto-stop plots. Wish th yeah, I guess you wouldn't want an auto-ransom. Um, I could just click a bunch of release prisoners and just get them out the hell out of here. Come on. Uh, I actually am a little concerned about the lack of um, of heirs here. Maybe we should take a concubine. I wonder if any of the ladies that are in here would be an appropriate concubine. Um. Nice stats, but nothing genetic. And that's it. I want backup good genetics. Let's use the find character interface, which is here. Um, yeah, because there's no find concubine button, huh? Um, let us find women. Uh, not rulers. Um, the culture, yes. I suppose the religion doesn't matter. Find someone with, I don't know, high diplomacy. 
but we're mostly just looking for a genetic trait. Oh, you know what? I'll sort by age. And we'll start at um, around here. See, quick wouldn't be bad. Oh, married. No. Ooh, that changes things a lot. Mm-hmm. Just see if we can't pop out a few backup kids. Strong. Oh, she's a lesbian, so that's not going to help. I like strong. There we go. 16-year-old genius. Craven. Um, lowborn. Right religion. Take concubine, and they will accept. I just don't like having zero backup kids. I mean, too many is bad. But hell, I'm the child of a concubine. I turned out okay, so... And my wife is not performing anymore. Uh, so, oh, I can't take a concubine from the underage yet. You can't betroth a concubine, unfortunately. Um, -da -da You're not independent, are you? Nope. Alright, so we got our concubine. And she even likes me pretty much. How does my wife feel about me? Especially now that I've taken a concubine. I mean, we could build a relationship a little bit more. I'm sick of being kind to everyone. I'm no longer kind. Wow. Quill the second, the monk. We have to get a line of characters once. We're all named Quill, so eventually we'll have Quill 18. Hungarian army is doing some sort of fight. All right, let's crack the speed. We just want to get our um, retinues into position here. More conversions, more plots, long ships. It's annoying, but what can you do? We're also waiting for our military to recover a little bit more. Actually, our manpower is pretty much there. You know what? I might start the war. No, I really want to have the retinues in place. We'll wait for them to move over. My wife is pregnant. Okay. Now, she got jealous when I got the concubine. My wife's like, hold on. This won't do it all. Um, oh, right. I forgot. I haven't finished doing all this. Ransom. Yes. Ransom. Yes. Oh, my God. It takes so long. Ransom, no. So just release. Ransom, no. Why can't they do that? No interest. That just seems wrong. Am I already, uh, yeah, already ransoming him. All right, that should clear our prisons. What is this, a marriage offer? My half-brother, Prince Shenrir, marry Queen of Bavaria. He's got a weak claim on the Windish Empire, which can be inherited, and that's always a little bit sketchy. But, you know, sure, she's looking for love. She's 16 years old. He is 24 and strong. There's going to be some pretty good genetics going on there. She's even ambitious. Kind of worrisome. Oh, what could possibly go wrong? Uh, may Allah destroy your house. I accept paying the ransom. Wow. It's not a very nice way to do that. Right, we got some little claims here, but I want to go for the big fish. I mean, I assume that we've got some good CBs over here. Yeah, like Holy Wars. Yeah, we'll start with down here. And then we'll just keep eating our way into the uh, peninsula, whatever we want to call this. More conversions. Where are the troops? I really should have got them on a boat. Where is... Um, I think it's here that offers a lot of boats. Yeah. Yeah. Tell you what, guys, just go over there. You go there, and you go there. We'll just boat you over. And frankly, then we don't even have to do the sea crossing. Sweden actually has some troops raised. So we can pick and choose exactly where we want to land. Oh, I lost my chancellor. These guys were all super good. So, this mare would be pretty good. On the other hand, Calvin is my brother. We could uh, give it to him. So there's more than one Calvin. It's very confusing. 
Because I think it was my half-brother that I married off to the Queen of Bulgaria? I don't remember. Um, he's a genius, but he doesn't have a title. I mean, I guess we'll just go for him. He's the best. He's a mayor. I mean, our opinion's already maxed, but I guess we'll have a good opinion there. He has, um, at least he's got the right religion. But he is otherwise a little bit, um, a little bit separated. Um, I don't remember. Like, we've got our... We've got claims on this? Yeah. So what am I going to do with my Chancellor? Actually, I don't know if I have claims on everything. We've got claims on Novgorod, this place, and claims on here. So I don't have a claim on here yet. So let's do that, just to make sure we've got the complete set. I mean, ideally, I would still want a ducal level claim. And maybe some of these duchy titles I could create would be appropriate. Uh, more conversions, great. No. No. Nope. Yeah, none of these titles, none of these duchy claims are actually going to help. All right, let's just get our ships together. <laughs> let's get our ships together. And um, we will soon go after Sweden. I'll probably just get all my troops off the coast here, at least my retinues off the coast. And then we'll put in a cut. And then next episode, I'll declare war, raise up a big giant host. Yeah, there's going to be attrition, but um, that's life. Embark army. And we'll put you off the coast, the Bite of Hanno. Oh, complaining about the ships. Well, the ships are going to get dropped in a second here. Don't worry about it. These people keep raiding stuff. Excellent! So we'll put a cut in here, and next time, war against Sweden. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.